Today we are going to have a look at 7 ways to store data in the browser. Without further ado, let's dive in and understand more. Number 1. Cookies The memory limit of cookies is usually up to 4 kilobytes per cookie. Cookies are best for storing small amounts of data like user preferences or session tokens. Cookies are sent with every HTTP request, so can affect performance if storing a lot of data. Number 2. Local storage the memory limit of local storage is typically around 5 MB per domain. Local storage is best for storing non-sensitive, unstructured data that persists across browser sessions, ideal for preferences or simple client-side caching. Number 3. Session storage The memory limit of the session storage is also around 5 MB per domain. Session storage is similar to local storage, but data is lost when the browser session ends, useful for temporary storage like form input. Number 4. IndexedDB The memory limit of IndexedDB can vary significantly, but often 50 MB plus. Sometimes there is no real limit. It depends on the user's available disk space. IndexedDB is best for complex structured data storage, suitable for offline apps or applications that require significant client-side data management. Number 5. WebSQL The memory limit of WebSQL is usually up to 5 MB but can vary. It's deprecated in favor of IndexedDB, provided relational data storage. Number 6. Cache API The memory limit of the Cache API varies by browser and available disk space. Cache API is best for storing network requests and responses, useful for offline access to resources. Number 7. File System API The memory limit of the File System API is implementation specific and may depend on available disk space. File System API allows a web application to read and write files to a sandboxed file system, can be used for full applications working with larger files. And that was all about 7 ways to store data in the browser. If you like such content, make sure you subscribe for more. Thank you once again for watching and see you again in the future.